All right, so I have a little bit of yellow on my watercolor brush, uh, and I'm just gonna dabble that on my paper, okay? This is what I mean. This is very simple, it's easy, and I'm just gonna come over and grab um, a little bit, some different color yellows, maybe a little bit darker, and just want lots of water, and I'm just gonna mix those colors in and let them do what watercolor does. Now again, imagine you're walking um, around Halloween and you're looking and you can see on some people's porch, they're glowing. All you see is the eyes and the face of the pumpkin, right? So I'm just taking lots of yellow, adding a little bit of orange and I am just kind of scribbling that around Look, nothing hard about this. I'm just filling that page up with some yellows and some oranges and letting it just blend and do what it does. Uh, but we wanna make sure the paper is nice and dry, right? I'm gonna grab this friction pen, right? These are pretty cool. So basically all I'm gonna do, um, and remember, I want to see the eyes of my pumpkin. So I'm gonna come, I like the way this right in here looks. So I'm going to just sketch in. I'm just sketching in really quickly um, to me like what the shape of a jack-o'-lantern um, someone might have carved their pumpkin for Halloween and I know I'm working quickly but honestly don't overthink it you just kind of want the basic shape of a jack-o'-lantern um, and we're gonna leave the parts that are inside so now I'm gonna take my watercolor palette back again I'm gonna just put a whole bunch of water over here. And I know I have colors, but it's okay. I'm gonna take some of these darker oranges now, um, and I'm gonna just add a whole lot of water to them. And basically, I'm gonna take that now. I just wanna have that really wet, lots of mixed paint there. So I'm gonna come here now, and I'm going to now paint in around around everywhere except for where the inside of that jack-o'-lantern's face would be, right? So I'm moving pretty quickly, but um, you just want to fill in all of these parts. And that's what I'm saying. This is one of the most forgiving projects, right? So we're going to fill in all around the jack-o'-lantern just gonna pull that yellow or that orange around and just fill that in. I can add um, a little bit of red to it as well. We just don't want it to be really, really dark yet, right? So we're working negative space. So we're working from light to dark. So I'm gonna keep filling in around the face of the jack-o'-lantern. I wanna show you something really cool. You know how I used this pen and I drew my eyes in, right? The fun thing about a friction pen that you might not know is that they disappear in the heat. So if you look real close now, my pen marks are almost gone from the heat of the hairdryer, right? So it's an erasable, it's like a magic pen. For this Halloween. one would be closest, maybe there's one in the background. So I'm gonna just draw another quick little 
jack-o'-lantern face off to the side here. And remember, it does not have to be perfect. You can make them different. You can make them same. Right, so I drew another pumpkin face there, and I want to do maybe like a little three-dimensional look to this. So this is just for my guidelines, but maybe to the outside of everything. I'm going to just draw, I'm going to mimic the shape that we put in of the eyes, right? So that it'll look like when you're looking in that um, when you cut the pumpkin, you know how you can see... You can see inside it's three-dimensional. So I'm gonna try to do that here. I'll do some here on the bottom. And we'll do some here off to the sides. Right, when you look inside of the pumpkin from afar off, you can kind of see a three-dimensional, you can see in dimensionally. So I'm gonna leave that be now. We're gonna come back with our watercolor and we're gonna go a shade darker. So we have a lot of our orange here. Um, I don't mind that some of this black gets mixed in. So I've added a little bit of black and a little bit of purple to the orange that was here. I'm gonna pick up some more of the orange and we're gonna go a little bit darker with our color, and I'm gonna grab some red, right? So just like we did the first time, we're gonna now go around our pen lines that I just put in and see how that's a bit darker. And I wanna go around the pen line that I just drew, okay? So I'm going to leave the yellow. We're just not going to paint on the inside of the yellow or the orange that we just put down. So I'm just going to work quickly, but see how I'm staying outside of those lines. Um, but it's a bit darker now than the shade that it was the first time. Now I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna go around. Let me grab some more paint. more darker here right and we're just going to keep going darker and darker let me dry this this layer and then we'll do another layer smaller so we're just going to do an even smaller um shape um so we're going to start adding even more darker colors so now I'm, see, I just have a like a mess of color here. I'm going to put lots of water. I'm going to just start adding some purple over here into my orange. Okay. So I'm going to come in here now with the purple. I'm going to just come over to my little set of eyes that we just put in there.
Um, but I hope that this just sparks a little bit of that imagination. I know that you have glowing inside of you. All it takes is one little spark to ignite a passion within yourself, right? So give yourself permission to just play and be creative.